A very promising US startup has just revealed what they have discovered, and that is a way to charge electric car batteries in only five minutes. Now, apparently, you can actually essentially retrofit existing batteries with this technology. This would be, of course, a game changer. Now, we're already at around 10 minutes for fast charging. There are cars in China, and there will be soon in other countries outside of China. Those cars are coming soon. They can charge the battery from 10 to 80% in 10 minutes. Literally, I've actually seen it in person in China. But five minutes, well, that's a completely different story. That's at the point where there's zero advantage to a gasoline pump versus EV charging. Here are the details behind this story. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. I gotta say, you know what? Charging an EV this fast would be amazing. That said, guys, I'm about to take delivery of the Xpeng G6. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check it out and get a free charger if you use my link. But, you know, I can charge that car in about 20 minutes from 10 to 80%. So I actually think that's fast enough. I don't think you need to go any faster than that, but you know what, why not? I mean, if you can, why not do it, right? A graphene-based heat spreader transfers heat from the battery, warming it before or during charging, and it enables batteries to charge in only five minutes. A US startup has developed this so-called cost-effective technology to charge lithium batteries five minutes, but not from 10 to 80%, as I just said, actually completely. So that's entirely different, right? Existing batteries, even though they can charge in about 10.5 minutes from 10 to 80%, they actually charge them to 100%, from zero to 100%, you're looking at closer to around 35 minutes. So this is actually much different. 35 minutes is the current fastest in the world from zero to 100%. You're going from 35 minutes to five minutes with this technology. So this is literally completely different. It is absolutely game changing if this works and it sounds like it will. To meet electric vehicle market demands, Dallas-based Solidian has developed a patented system enabling fast charging in all climates, which is one of the barriers. You know, EV batteries don't charge as fast when it's really cold or when it's really hot, but they're saying that actually that's irrelevant in this situation. The system uses a graphene-based heat spreader. It quickly warms batteries before or during charging, while an integrated cooling system activates during discharge to prevent battery overheating. The company says the technology enables rapid EV charging in any weather, especially overcoming current battery limitations in cold climates. Lithium ion phosphate batteries in cold climates, they charge a bit slower. Now, some of the newer generation lithium ion phosphate batteries from CATL and from Geely with their new short blade battery, they are able to overcome the challenges of fast charging in cold temperatures, but still most lithium ion phosphate batteries being manufactured worldwide don't charge very well when it's really cold. So Lydian plans to commercialize their battery technology within two to three years. In order to compete with internal combustion vehicles, fast EV charging must be weather independent and take about the same amount of time as refueling a gasoline powered vehicle, says the company. I categorically disagree with that. I don't think that's remotely necessary. The truth is most, most charging is done at home. More than 90% of charging is done at home. I really don't think you need to be able to charge as quickly as you fill up a gas tank. But that is the future and it will happen eventually. Temperature variations throughout the different seasons and geographical areas can make rapid charging of EV batteries difficult because they can react to heat and cold differently. The average winter temperature in most of Northern Europe and half of the United States is below zero degrees Celsius. Fast charging at low temperatures is not possible with any of the EV batteries available today, says Interesting Engineering. Now, Interesting Engineering's article is actually false on that, that area. The truth is you can actually fast charge some of the newer lithium ion phosphate batteries at extremely fast speeds. In fact, at up to 500 kilowatt speeds, even at minus, so even at minus five degrees Celsius. But that's the newest technology, and that's not the mainstream when it comes to LFP batteries. According to Solidian, addressing the EV market's urgent need for all-weather fast charging, its technical team has developed and patented a method to rapidly charge battery cells or packs without compromising their integrity. The strategy enables batteries to operate safely and avoid thermal runaway issues, the company says. Solidian uses a graphene-based heat spreader which efficiently removes heat from the battery, warming it up before and even during charging. 
Graphene is extremely effective for this purpose with a thermal conductivity of 5,300 watts per mK, far surpassing copper, which is at only 410. Essentially, graphene is about 12 times more efficient at spreading heat. And it's also four times lighter. Interesting engineering says that when the battery is in use, like powering an EV, the system switches to cooling mode, moving heat from the battery to prevent overheating. The heat spreader directs excess heat to the cooling system, providing efficient temperature control and protecting the battery's performance. Solidian's system automatically switches between heating during charging and cooling during use, depending on what's needed. This ensures safe, fast charging across a range of temperatures. Now, I'm not really convinced on this because I think that even though the idea of the system is to keep the battery at the optimum temperature, if you discharge or charge a battery at these speeds, you, I don't think you're going to be, it's going to be possible to actually keep the temperature stable. I mean, we're talking about such an enormous amount of power being put into a battery pack within a very short space of time. I mean, to charge this battery at within five minutes time from zero to 100%, you're talking charging speeds would have to be about one megawatt. And while that's theoretically possible, that's an enormous amount of heat transfer within a very short period of time. So I'm not convinced that these charging speeds are accurate. I think this is more of a theoretical possible maximum, but in the real world, the charging speed might be closer to 15 minutes, something along those lines. To address the anticipated 1.4 million tonne per year graphite deficit by 2028, Solidian has also developed a cost-effective process for producing anode-grade graphite from sustainable sources, including biomass and recycled materials. Now, to be fair here, there are actually numerous companies creating what is called synthetic graphite. This is not a new thing to the industry, and yeah, we don't actually need to mine for graphite anymore. That's one of the advantages of this new synthetic graphite. The company wants to rank the US among the top 10 graphite producers worldwide by carrying out its sustainable graphite manufacturing plan with the ultimate goal of being a global leader. So Lydian specializes in solid state batteries and high capacity anodes. Now we don't know if they actually have any solid state batteries that, you know, that work yet or will be capable of working in an EV, but that's what they're working on. Its true primary product lines are three varieties of solid state batteries and improved anode materials prepared for an increased output. So clearly the company is working on having solar state batteries being able to discharge and charge at incredibly fast speeds that we've never seen before in the industry. This could work. And then again, it might not. Hopefully it does. What the company are working on includes generation one silicon rich lithium ion cells, generation three lithium sulfur cells, and generation two anodeless lithium metal cells. Every type of battery employs a different solid electrolyte that is easily synthesized from a polymer or polymer inorganic composite, it says Interesting Engineering. Solidian's solid state batteries can be quickly introduced to the market since they are compatible with current lithium ion production facilities, says the company. Now, I'm not sure how accurate that is, but hopefully it's true. Additionally, their design increases EV range, improves safety, lowers cost per kilowatt hour, and uses novel cathodes that have the potential to sub substitute less expensive metals like nickel and cobalt with less expensive ones like sulfur. With these developments, Solidian hopes to supply safer, more scalable, and more reasonably priced batteries that complement the next electric car technologies. Now, to be honest, a lot of this to me reads like the kind of blurb you would produce as a company when you're trying to get funding from investors. Now, forgive me for being a little cynical, but I don't believe there's any company in the world truly capable of doing all of this at one time. I mean, they're doing so much here. Three different types of solid state batteries. Um, you know, revolutionary new designs, uh, revolutionary heat transfer processes that allowed fast charging in five minutes. I think this is maybe all a little bit too good to be true. Some of it, though, I think is probably going to happen. Some of it. The question is when and how much will they cost? Within, I think, about 10 years' time, we're going to have lots of solid-state batteries on the market. Manufacturers will be putting them in new EVs, and you'll be going, holy hell, look at that new electric car. It's got 1,000 miles of range. And then someone will be saying, yeah, yeah, look at my new EV. It's got one megawatt charging. You know, look at my EV. It's got four motors and 4,000 horsepower. This industry is changing and evolving at an incredibly fast pace. 
more money is being poured into it than ever before, and technology is going to change quickly. You cannot be concerned about the resale of your car because this is going to happen constantly. It's going to be like, you know, plasma TVs. Remember when they were first came out, they were like $20,000. Now they're like peanuts, right? Same thing will apply in the electric vehicle industry and in honestly every tech industry as well. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.